everyone, I'm Ayana or Arfo Aya, and thank you for coming to this video. Today I'm going to be showing two easels that I bought that is for beginners just like me. The first easel that I'll be talking about is this one right here. I got this from Michaels and it is the brand Artist Law. It was $7.19. It's very practical for small paintings like a 5x7 or a 12x12. Check out these clips that I pre-recorded already and let me know what you think. I'm starting off by opening this 8x10 canvas from Artist Law from Michaels. It's a display tabletop easel. That's the full name of the easel. That was $7. Here I'm just sketching out my ideas in my head of what I want to paint on the canvas. So the paint that I'm going to be using today is the Liquitex Basics Acrylic in Titanium White and Burnt Umber. They were $5.49 at Michaels and this is the paint that I'm going to be using throughout the video. Here I messed up on the nose and yeah I knew that this is when it was all going to go downhill. So me being a beginner I don't really know how the shading goes just yet so I need to figure out the light and dark tones of the paint color <laughs> The next easel that I'm going to be talking about is the Ohuhu 72 inch easel. I bought this from Amazon for $22. Mind you, I have never taken this out of the package. I bought this months ago and I'm just now getting to opening it. So how about I test it on camera? <laughs> So it comes with the travel bag, which is very great, you know, that's easily transportable as well as the tabletop easel. I think that you can easily put it in your bag. So both of these are practical for taking outside or, you know, putting it in your, in your car, on the go, anything like that. So all oh, what happened to the instructions? <laughs> So it came with setting up instructions, um, yeah. So it, it explains everything on here. So I'm just gonna open it and yeah. So the zipper is only this far. And it comes in plastic. Oh. it's bound together with this velcro, velcro strap <laughs> um so yeah okay uh, okay oh I see this is where you hang your canvas okay so let me actually look at the directions okay So step one is to undo the two clips on each leg of the tripod and extend the tripod legs to the optimum height you need. Okay, so the clips are whom? <laughs> oh, okay, so you just spread it out like this, I'm guessing. And this is the third leg, ah, okay. Then step two says to adjust the two rings to the same height. Then align the holes of the horizontal bar with two screws and tighten the screws firmly. So 
what? Ah, okay. So it says lock and unlock on on this part. So I'm going to lock. Ah, yeah. Just bear with me. <laughs> Okay, unlock. Okay. Um. So it has a lot of like lock and unlock and lock and. Oh! Oh my gosh, this is an extendo. <laughs> I, well, I don't need it to be this tall today, so I'm just going to keep it at this length and lock it. So let me lock this one. So with me just extending those two legs, it comes like right here. Um, okay, so I'm gonna unlock, unlock this. No, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. I think it's this one. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna lock that one. I'm genuinely confused as to what. Oh. <laughs> okay. So this is the tripod. I hope that you can see this. But you know, you open it. This this is the third leg. So then you can pull this one to extend it and there is I want to say there is a okay I don't know what that one is hmm so right now I'm trying to figure out what this thing does it's called a bracket okay Loosen the securing clip and adjust the bracket height according to the size of your board. Look, I'm not slow, but some things <laughs> need to come with better instructions. Or maybe I just, I'm just very inexperienced with freaking easels, but these instructions, what? Okay. Step three, loosen the securing clip and adjust the bracket height according to the size. Well, I don't have a easel. I mean, I don't have a thing right now, a canvas. So, baby girl, <laughs> get it together. Okay, first of all, let me figure out how you put the bracket on. Because where are the screws? Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. So that was a slow moment for me. And that's okay. We have slow moments. Okay, so I took a little moment to try to figure this out because I was having too many slow moments. Um, so let me just show you where the screws are they're right here these two so these are the legs that spread out and you're gonna hang the bracket on this so it basically goes like like this but I have to <laughs> let me try to do this on the floor and then I will lift it up and show the camera because your girl was struggling. I was struggling. So this is how it looks. So I have it on the third hook. And this one on the third one. So 
so um yeah i guess i will have to raise this up because this is where it that's where the thing sits so let's get the extento <laughs> so we're gonna unlock this one and then lock then I'm gonna unlock this one and lock it and then do the same for this back one and there so this part right here is where you're going to um, extend it to the width of the canvas so then you're gonna lay this clip down and then it will stay in place it's making me nervous actually because it's like acting like it wants to come for look <laughs> about to be crazy if that hit me in the head i would have been so upset <laughs> oh snap okay you can actually oh mm -hmm. okay so what i'm doing is like raising it up to... okay not maybe not like that but you know that would that helps to extend extend the legs is that even hmm let's see it's just really bothering me that it wants to keep trying to come forward and i don't like that and i'm thinking you know maybe it's because this is heavy because there's a lot of paper in there but Dang, I mean, I mean, dang. Now that I've gotten it semi standing up, let's put this back on here. Oh, okay. Well, it's not falling. So my fix that I did was basically I extended the third the tripod leg the third leg too a little bit too long so it kept coming forward but you have to mainly spread out the first two legs so these these two <laughs> mainly these two first and then as you're spreading these two out get the level of the third leg and lock it it's pretty easy if you're standing up and leaning over um so yeah so this middle part is the extender that you're gonna use on the on the canvas then you just press it it's like a spring and this is what you use to lock it so today I'm gonna be using the 11 by 14 inch canvas I'm going to be painting it landscape, not portrait. So I adjusted the easel to a higher position. So the first knob, so that I could use the extender clip because the way I had it, it was spread out so far that it was not going to reach um, the width well the height of this if it was down low like how it was down cool so now that everything is set up here's my reference picture that i'm doing today i don't know if you can see in the back but i'm pretty sure you could um i did draw this brass so it's basically gonna be the same thing like using her for reference but she's gonna be a black woman because <sighs> black is power
for the skin tone, I'm going to be using the same colors I used earlier, which is the white Liquitex and the Burnt Umber. Then I'm going to be using a little bit of the bright red Craft Smart paint. It's by Michaels. For the hair, I'm going to be using the same burnt umber, but just adding a little bit of black. For the mouth and the skirt, I'm using the black Liquitex again. And for the shirt, I'm using the same red that I used to add into the skin tone from earlier. I think the big difference that I've noticed in these paints is that the Liquitex is way more thicker and is not as opaque as the Craftsmart red paint that I use for the shirt. As you can see, the downfall of having so many lock and unlock buttons on this easel is that you can easily miss one. And yeah, <laughs> as you saw, that catastrophe. Um, I mean, I easily put it back up, but I would say that that is uh, one of the things that I do not like about this easel. Even though it's very adjustable, you just always have to make sure that you're not applying too much pressure and you're making sure that all of your buttons are locked. The green I use is from Liquitex as well. It's called Hooker's Green Hue Permanent. And for the inner, I just added a little bit of white into the same green. And for the band, I'm using a bronze. I also picked up a silver for the 1000. For the background, I'm using orange, Craft Smart again. I added a little bit of white to make it lighter and added a little bit of white to this pink that I'm using for the text. <laughs> Here I'm just outlining it with the same pink that I use for the text. Working with these two easels was very fun. I think that the tabletop was very easy to manage and you know it was no setup required so I think I will continue to use that one because it's very practical. As far as the Ohuhu, I think that the instructions needed a bit more description on the clips and like what specific piece does what because I feel like that would have prevented the long winded setup time. So here's the final result. In the end, I think that this $20 easel was worth it, but not for the long run. Do y'all remember this vine? Anyway, thank you for watching this video. In my opinion, the two easels that I bought for $20 or less are a great buy. However, I do think that you will need to buy something way more sturdier if you want to continue using them. Well, did I do that? Anyways. Hey everyone, my name is Ayana, and today, okay. Hey everyone, my name is Ayana, better known as Artful Aya, and 
I shouldn't say better known because niggas don't know. 